Hi Scorpio, welcome to the Fool's Journey Tarot. Today is August 7th, 2019, and I am doing a general love reading for the sign of Scorpio. If you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, it may resonate for you. Also, it is not date specific, even though I mentioned the date. Um, it's more for me than it is for you. However, I do know that a lot of people like to watch current tarot readings um, for the day that they're actually watching them. So I do mention that for the people who, who like to watch readings that are current. Um, however, if you are watching this a month or a year or six years from now, it might still resonate for you. So take what does and leave what doesn't. It is a general love read, so it might pertain to romantic love, but it can also um, pertain to anything else, including situations and opportunities, jobs, um, just about anything. So bear that in mind and, and um, remain open. And you could also potentially be cross-watching for somebody. I'm going to do one more shuffle. I just feel like I need to. Um, you could potentially be watching for somebody. In other words, cross-watching. So I may not be reading for you necessarily. I might actually be doing a read for the person you're dealing with. So again, keep an open mind about how the energy um, resonates for you. Okay, Scorpio, let's get started and see what you have. You have strength in your underlying energy paired with the Eight of Wands in the reverse. And then you have Judgment. The Star card in reverse. The Six of Cups. The Nine of Cups, the Devil is paired with the Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, Scorpio, let's see what you have here. So there is, um, a delay, lack of communication maybe, lack of, lack of movement forward, um, a decision has been made or is currently being made about something you may have lost hope in or hope for. I do feel like this is related to a relationship, long-standing, maybe someone from your past, potentially, you know, someone like an ex or someone coming back into your life. And this may have been a dream of yours, something that you were hoping for. But there's some fear. There's some fear and a feeling of being oppressed or kept back. A fear of not being able to move forward or I get feeling confined. I think in the, in the recent past, you've made a decision. Like I said, it could be regarding a relationship. This would be somebody that you had a strong relationship. Could be a family member. Someone you have fond memories of. You may be wishing to reconnect with this person. Like I said, it might be an ex. Um... Right now, there's no movement. There's no, there's no movement, and you are feeling restrained for some reason, feeling like maybe you don't have the ability to take control of the matter or to take action. This person is your Nine of Cups. This is a wish. 
be with this person or reconnect with them. Let's see what else comes up for you, Scorpio. Paired with the Strength card in your underlying energy, you have the Ten of Water. So you're, you're feeling like you want to move forward in some way. You want to make a move. You want to take action. But you don't. You're in the dark about something. You're, there's some unknowns here that are keeping you maybe feeling a little fearful about moving forward. Eight of Earth in the upright. This may have to do with the job or um, your work situation. But I do feel more so that it's about a relationship. Do you feel like you might be able to reach your full potential if there's some movement forward? Transformation, this is the chariot card in reverse. I think you want to make a decision regarding this lack of movement. Ace of fire, this would be the ace of wands in the reverse. You may feel like something slipped out of your hands, a missed opportunity, or this could just be a delay. Six of fire. There's definitely a lack of communication with this person. You might even be fearful or feeling a little bit worried about making a move forward to communicate, but you want to do it anyway. You want to take matters into your own hands. You want to take control of the situation. Devil energy. Feeling this um, lack of the ability to take control of this has you feeling upset, angry. Maybe not angry, but it could be um, anxiety. Uh, Frustration and the maiden of air. You want to communicate. This indicates to me that you're afraid to, but that's what you want. You want some communication. You want to come clean about something or bring something out in the open. some conflict with this person in the past and you want to seek some justice or um, rectify the situation this may have been a relationship that you started at one time and, and it felt like you lost it or something happened that um, ended it ended it uh, quickly or just didn't move forward and maybe you're even a little unclear as to why that you felt like this relationship had uh, more potential again I, I if this was a relationship that got started and then ended um, this, again, this may have been someone from your past, so maybe it was someone that you've known for a long time. But something has you feeling worried, anxiety, you feel some anxiety about moving forward or um, communicating with this person. However you really want to. I feel like you really want to, Scorpio. Let's see what else comes up for you. Clarifying the strength card, you have the Ten of Cups. So, I think it's pretty clear you feel like this this relationship or the situation, this new opportunity. I do feel like it's a relationship. It is your Ten of Cups. I think you feel really strongly about this person. Page of Wands, you want to deliver a message, but right now that's not happening. You may have been even waiting for a message to come in from this person. Maybe you feel that they feel the same. 
but they're not making any moves to contact you. There's the star card again in the reverse, clarifying the same set of cards. So this is definitely, you're losing, you feel like you've lost hope at some point in time, but you want to make a decision. You want to move on this lost dream or lost hope. Tower card is clarifying the star in reverse, this first star in reverse. Pentacles. Definite desire for communication. You want to work with this person. This may be more than just a love situation. It might be a work situation. It might be that you want to try something new with this person. Maybe start a new business. And you're trying to decide the best way to make this happen. I think you're really stuck on, on this potential new beginning with this person. I don't feel like you feel like, I, I feel like you can't let this go. You're really hanging on to it. The Ten of Wands comes up as I say that. This card to me, I don't know why, but this green string that's wrapped around these sticks. I mean, the Ten of Wands usually means a burden or you're working really hard, carrying a heavy load. Um, but this looks like a, an arm with a hand holding onto these sticks, like you're grasping it, you're hanging on to them. I really feel like you're hanging on to this potential relationship or hanging on to the idea that you need to be the one who communicates in order to make this happen. I think there's a level of anxiety that you're that you're feeling. It's I think it's significant. It's not this is not just something that you think about every couple of weeks it pops into your head. I feel like this is something. Now, it's not giving you nightmares. I don't feel like you're having mental anguish over this necessarily, but I do feel like you it's on your mind a lot and that you don't want to let it go. This isn't like something where you're like, oh shit, I'm just thinking about this way too much. I have to, I have to release this, this, you know, feeling that I need to make a move or release these thoughts about this person because it's not healthy for me. That's not what I'm feeling. I feel like you don't want to let this go. At the same time, because you are hell bent on communicating with this person but afraid to or not knowing how to. That's why the devil energy is here, just because it's, it's this lingering desire, this feeling, this need that you have that right now has you feeling, you're not stuck necessarily, but there is delay. I think that you know you can move forward at any moment think you know that there's nothing else keeping you from taking action except for yourself but maybe this is something you've never done before this would be going out on a you know maybe taking a little bit of a risk maybe or maybe you feel that way it's a little risky something you're just not used to doing taking action regarding this relationship. Let's see what else we get for Scorpio. King of Wands. Okay, Scorpio, so this is your energy. You're the type of person who goes after what they want. You generally have a lot going on in your life. You are someone who doesn't sit still if you have something you want you go get it you're passionate about the people in your life and the things that you do maybe your job your career you take action people look up to you you might even have some leadership qualities 
but right now you're feeling in the dark about this relationship. The moon in reverse. I feel like you have things to say to this person or you have you want to reveal information or tell them how you feel. I think you're done keeping things to yourself. But you know you have a lot to offer and you want to let this person know. Two of Cups in the reverse is clarifying the transformation card, which is also the chariot in the traditional tarot. Right now there's no movement with this relationship. I do feel like it could potentially be a love, romantic relationship. There's no movement forward with it at this point in time. You may not be speaking to this person at all. I mean, I, I kind of got that from the very beginning. I don't feel like there's been any communication. I don't feel like there's a back and forth. In fact, I don't necessarily feel your person's energy in this reading. Yet. Let's see what else comes up. Page of Pentacles. Right now, because of this lack of information or lack of ability to acquire, acquire information, either on their part or yours, that's what has you feeling like there's some lost hope because withholding your feelings this would indicate it to me as well that there have been some feelings withheld or information withheld this can be a card of deceit and lies but for me it's more about in this reading being afraid to tell how you feel being a, a little bit fearful or feeling anxiety about your feelings and the king of cups in the reverse again this would be someone who's withholding emotion feeling repressed feeling like you can't show how you feel you want to change that Two of Pentacles. You've made this decision to do this, but you haven't taken action yet. And it's causing you anxiety. Seven of Wands. You're extremely sensitive and defense, defensive about communicating. I think that you know that once you um, decide to speak to this person that all of this anxiety and wishful thinking and feeling like there's lost hope, feeling like you're missing out, I almost feel too, Scorpio, that you have this in your head that this isn't like you, this isn't what you normally do in these kind of situations because you go after what you want. You're the king of wands. You don't just sit back and wait for things to fall into your lap. You go get them. So this is not typical behavior for you, Scorpio. I get that feeling that you... might be feeling like even trying to figure out why why you're behaving like this regarding the situation with this person. There may have been some external conflict, some kind of conflict that kept you from this person for a while. I'm gonna find out a little bit more about your person before I close out this reading. What time do we have? 19? Oh gosh, we have plenty of time. So I might even pull an extra set of cards because although the message feels pretty clear to me, I don't feel like I have a lot of information as to what's holding you back aside from 
some anxiety or some uh, feeling like something external might be keeping you from moving forward. Maybe the unknowns, maybe whatever it is you want to reveal to this person is related to some information that could be misconstrued as deceit or dishonesty. You might be wanting to clear the air with them. Let's see what else we can get. Scorpio, can I get some clarification on the Six of Cups first? I want to find out more about your person. I want to see if I can get some more information about your person. Tell me more about the Six of Cups. Let's take this to you. You don't want to let them go. You think the right thing to do is to hang on to this relationship. Now that's not information about your person. This is more feelings about how you're how you're reacting to the situation, how you're how you're feeling about them. You don't want to let them go. You feel it's the right thing to do to hang on to this relationship. Tell me more about this um, Four of Pentacles in the reverse. What's keeping Scorpio back? What's holding them back? The Tower in reverse. The unknown, fear of change. I don't think that you know what's going to happen after you talk to this person and so there's that fear of change. Tell me more about the star in verse. Or Scorpio. The star in verse. That's funny, the way that card flipped out too. So thanks a lot, Spirit, for that clarity. I got the star in reverse, clarifying the star in reverse. I feel like the, you are feeling a lack of hope. But this is in the past. I feel like you felt a lack of, lack of hope. That this was a missed opportunity. Because maybe you didn't tell this person how you felt about them or what you wanted in, in your future with them. I do think that you think this is your Ten of Cups. This relationship or opportunity with this individual, whether it's romantic or not, I feel like it could be romantic. Could also though be an opportunity um, in, in an, you know, new financial endeavor, maybe with this person as a business partner. Um, tell me more about the Nine of Cups. I think you've been withholding your love from this person or your feelings. Maybe you've been unwilling com to commit. That's what I'm getting off this card. You've been battling this feeling of not wanting to commit. If that, I mean, commit can mean, commitment can be in a relationship, of course. It can be a love relationship, lack of commitment or feeling scared or worried about committing with some, but I mean, again, this could be a business partner, it could be a friendship that you're just maybe feeling or have felt in the past that if you got involved with this person, of course it would result in significant change in your life. And so you've been unwilling to commit or unwilling to express your feelings about them because you know that it will result in significant change. I'm going to pull some more cards out of my Spellcasters deck. Um, normally I would end the reading here, but I want to pull a few more for you, Scorpio, and see if I can't find out any, any more information. Kind of put a little conclusion on the end of the story, though. Tell me more for Scorpio. 
any additional information for Scorpio. Maybe some advice moving forward with this person or this opportunity. Let's see what we get from you, Scorpio. Queen of Wands. I think this is your person. This is your dream. Um, I'm going to pull the rest of the cards and then show some of these to you. And then you have the Page of Pentacles. You want a new beginning, a new start with this person, and you want to tell them. In the past, or recent past, you felt like you've lost your dream. Nine of Cups in the reverse. You felt lack of hope that this would happen, this relationship would happen. Two of Swords, you may have been even blocking yourself to a certain extent. Like I said, keeping yourself from committing or expressing that to this person. Eight of Wands. You want movement forward because you're hanging on to the idea that this could be something positive for you in your life. And you want to get away from this Eight of Wands in reverse, which is up here in your underlying energy, and move towards Eight of Wands in the upright. Taking action, fast movement forward, making things happen. And there's the Four of Pentacles again. This is the third time this has showed up in your reading. There's that fear, but this could be letting go of that fear. Releasing the anxiety, releasing the fear of commitment, and the tower. The tower in the reverse came up again. Clarifying. We have the tower on the table three times now. This is clarifying the devil energy. You know it's going to cause significant change in your life, so you've been, you've just been um, holding back. And there it is, the new beginning, the Ace of Wands, and that came up twice in its outcome. This is a new beginning for you, a passionate new beginning with this person. I just feel like it's a significant opportunity in relationship. Someone that, I mean, Six of Cups, I don't know if I've mentioned this before earlier in your reading, but if this person is from your past, a Six of Cups can indicate someone new, but someone who's actually a soul bond, a soul mate. Um, Someone who's meant to be in your life, a significant other. So King of Wands, that's you, and Queen of Wands, that's her. And I say him and her because that's the energy of the card. I mean, you know, it's a king and queen. But you can exchange, you can mix and match and whatever. The, the gender of the cards is not significant. If you watch tarot, you know that to be true. But the King and Queen of Wands is a matching pair and they are your Ten of Cups. And I think that you know this, Scorpio, I think that you know it, and you wanna communicate, you wanna tell them how you feel. With your person coming out at the very end of the reading like this, I think, I, you know, I felt that this person's energy was here, but not necessarily present to the extent that you may have hoped because I think you're seeking information. You might even be seeking confirmation on how they feel. Um, based on what I see, Scorpio, this looks promising. And I think that um, all you need to do is take matters into your own hands and communicate and that might mean sending a text message phone call knock on their door snail mail letter romantic mail uh, letter in the mail if you have their address that would be awesome they would love that I'm just saying I would love it so you know who does that anymore nobody Nobody sends snail mail anymore. How romantic is that? Just because nobody ever does it. I say communicate. You know, right now you're in the dark, but you want to take, you want to make some movement forward towards your queen of wands. I'm going to show you your pre, your pre-reading energy. 
real quick, Scorpio, before we end this, because it was very, very positive. The Six of Wands, victory. You're coming out of a time period of rest, a time period where you've been going inward, trying to seek some clarification on how you should move forward and what you should do, what you should say. But you have justice in your pre-reading cards, and I think you need to release this really personal conflict. It could be external too, like I said before, although I'm not seeing it in your reading, there could have been some external energy that caused some conflict keeping you from moving forward to your Queen of, Queen of Wands, but you have victory. This was the very first card I pulled for you in your pre-reading. The Six of Wands is um, the card of winning. And then justice, also. I'd love to see these two cards in my readings every day of the week. Sign me up. I'm just saying. Sign me up for that. Over and over again. Okay, Scorpio, I'm going to let you go here. I hope that was helpful if anything, you know, whether you were seeking confirmation on whether to make a move or not, or whether you're seeking information. If, if you got new information, I'm glad. I don't feel like I offered you new information with this reading, but maybe confirmation that you're headed in the right direction and let go of that anxiety because the anxiety is the devil energy. This guy holds us back from moving forward with our lives and making good decisions for ourselves. And if you're hanging on to this, this energy that needs to be redirected so that it's not causing you anguish, anxiety, and suffering, there's your outcome. There's your outcome, Scorpio. Congratulations. <laughs> I wish you the best. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye, Scorpio.